stop the blood flow and the air flow from reaching the brain. That's pretty obvious. <laughs> you know what happens with that? Just, yeah, unconsciousness and sometimes death. Be careful of the death part. Uh, we'll get into that after. So again, block the carotid arteries, go for the throat, attack the throat area, right? And the third would be take away your opponent's eyesight. Primary targets. Yeah. yeah, which are primary targets. Now you're looking at the primary <laughs> targets, which is another concept. So what you're looking at is you want to strike with your closest weapon, whatever that may be, to your opponent's closest target, whatever that may be. However, the primary targets on the human body are eyes, throat. Everything else is a secondary target, which leads to better the way it's not supposed to, or fucking main hit, crouch, whatever, whether I scratch off his three inches of skin off his shin, or I take a chunk out of his neck, or I rip his ear off, or I pull his hair all the way down to the ground, and I, ow, I bite his chin, whatever it is, if that's my closest weapon, I apply it. Now, I said bite, don't eat. <laughs> right, a whole bunch of blood disease and shit like that. So, and what you're doing is you're at this point thinking outside of a traditional aspect of, stri of striking, and you don't want to be striking uh, the Taekwondo way or the Jiu Jitsu way or the Senshido way, and that's why I don't have techniques, right? It's a concept, so there is no Senshido way of hitting. It's just following logic, right, and principles. And if you follow these principles, then you end up in this pattern of fighting. And if you understand that, you go to the next concept. So closest weapon, closest target. Primary targets, eyes, throat. Secondary targets, the rest of the human body. Right? The third step is tactile sensitivity. Tactile sensitivity is the ability to interpret your opponent's energy through the sense of touch. When the hand's quicker than the eye, when you're at a clinch or you're in this whatever here, if he decides to pull a knife with this hand, and stab me with it, I can't see that, right? I can't see that happen, I saw nothing. I just saw his elbow go up, but that could also mean he's trying to punch me. It could mean a hundred different things. And if I'm in the middle of a struggle and I'm not paying attention to this hand and I couldn't see the elbow, and the knife went in, we'd reach for a knife, get it out, and stab me, well, I just got fucking stabbed because I didn't see shit, right? But tactile sensitivity tells me something here. There's a difference between, now what I want you to do is kind of like piston punch me with this hand, right? So if we're here, and towards the head, or the body, if you want, doesn't matter. So if I'm feeling this for a couple of seconds, and I'm trying to jam it, now all of a sudden, with the same hand, reach for a knife. And stab it. Now, did you notice a difference in energy there? I can't see what's going on, but I can feel what's going on. So if I'm in a clinch with him, and he can't see, but he's feeling this, and all of a sudden, he's not feeling that anymore. For a couple of seconds. But his hand is still back here. So you should be able to recognize that the energy here has changed. And now the energy is saying, I'm not getting punched anymore. So what the fuck is he doing with his other hand? If he has an itchy ass, great. But I don't think he's going to be doing that. Chances are he's fucking reaching for something here, man. So your tactile sensitivity should go, shit, I'm not feeling something. Hand disappears. Wake the fuck up and jam the hand. Go after the hand. Stop it. Fucking get into the guy. And you know, do whatever it takes because... The chances of his arm got tired and he's taking a break are slim to none. So he's looking to reach for something. And so your body is able to interpret that. I'm feeling where this energy is going. He might be grabbing me over here, right? Now, it, and I'm going, oh shit, what are you doing now? If he's going to punch me with this hand, I don't think, yeah, all this has to happen. Right? So, and what do you, you're going to feel that through the shift in body, the axis, and the energy behind it. So tactile sensitivity happens as soon as contact is made between you and your opponent. And at that point, because the hand is quicker than the eye, you have to rely on it and understand how to position yourself in a way also that you can't get headbutted and elbow butt gets thrown in, or you can't pick you up and throw you. We're going to get into all these drills tomorrow.